Good morning, guys. Today is September 11, our synchronous meeting for week four. Glad to see Paolo, Joanna, and Ryan online. Good morning, guys. I started recording early because I might forget to, to press the record button again, so I'd rather... Good morning, Bo. Good morning. Si Mavi parang bago yung photo niya. Anyhow, we're around nine. I was supposed to wait for your entries first before we we jump online or we jump with the conference. Unfortunately, and tagal pa namimili pa yata kayo ng photos again. Um, our activity and atten ah, our attendance for today is your activity number four. So isang bagsak lang siya. What you are to do is you are to post a photo that you took. Meaning kayo kumuha no? hindi pwede kayo yung nasa photo. And tell me or tell us what element of photography is present in that, vote, in that photo. Ganun lang, para identification lang. Okay, so defend your answer with your life along with a brief detail about the photo. Just like what I did. Okay, so yun lang. Um, again, any entry from your um, camera roll or gallery... If if you have a Google Photos um, backup photo, download the best photo that you can that you took and post it. Okay lang naman din yun. Again, hindi kailangang recent. Unless if you reset or if you formatted your phone. So, okay lang na luma. Anyhow, before I begin with our new topic, some some reminders. Again, um, September 17 is the uh, intended deadline for all the students who are still under registered status. So after, uh, after the 17th, um, we would be starting the purging. Diba? Para movie lang. Okay, so we will be removing students who are still registered or who are still under registered status by September 18. Okay, so again, if meron pa tayo, again, I checked it last time. I don't know kung ilan ang meron ang, ang, ang registered ngayon. So please, um, if you are one, kindly fix your, your account na so that we will have no problems um, by midterm exam. Kasi I wouldn't want you guys to spend your time, your effort, waking up early, tapos matatanggal din pala kayo, di ba? So might as well do it. Okay, so, yeah. The second one is, syempre, a recap about our last topic, last meeting. Last topic, last meeting. Okay. So, yeah, we had our elements of com uh, elements of photography last meeting. So, yeah, just a refresher before you actually post your your previous photos or your photos. Um, the elements of, co uh, uh, of photography are the following. We have light. We have color. We have moment. We have composition. And we have distance okay those five are basic elements of our photography so some of the elements there coincide with our elements of art diba? we we were able to do a side by side comparison or at least um a brief comparison between the two elements diba? okay and the element of uh, the today's topic the elements of composition is no different you will see or you will find some elements of composition that is actually an element of art so again try not to be bothered by it again it won't appear naman on our, on any of your exams okay so less the confusion okay oh yan wait lang let me check if somebody somebody posted on our attendance slash um, activity. And unfortunately, wala pa rin. Ako pa lang din mag-isa. God, I feel so alone. Ako, ano nilalagyan ko ng option? Ay, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Who was that? <laughs> and that's Ako Joanna. Pa, Again, be careful lang guys when posting. Ha? Although kagandahan kayo o kagwapuhan, try not to post photos of yourself kasi... I would automatically assume na it was taken by somebody else. Again, gusto ko yung ko ano yung ano yung vision niyo of art. Syempre it would be reflected on how you take your photos. Yun naman yung importante sa atin eh. Yes, Sophia, you were you were raising your hand. Sir, may tanong lang po. Sige, dear. 
Kasi po may picture po ako last year and dinake ko siya dahil sa kulay. Pero edited na siya ngayon like in vintage style. Okay lang, okay lang yun. Okay lang kung ano. Edited or what. Okay lang. Sige, go. Thank you po. Again, when you do edits, you try to recreate the vision that you want to appear on your photo. So okay lang naman yun. Pero for the succeeding activities that we will be having in the future before the exam, yan, medyo slight slight editing na lang tayo. Ha? So wag naman yung tipong walang kasama si... Kunyari, walang kasama si, si Joanna forever alone. Tapos nilagyan niya ng kasama si ano, si Lee Min Ho. Diba? That's heavy editing na. So that's ano no na for our photography. Pero yung mga... Yung mga pag-change ng filter, ng color, um, pa- gradient sa ano sa photo nyo, it's okay. Actually, we encourage that. So, it 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 increases the creativity level of your photo. Kasi. So, it's okay, Sophia. Else, who else? Wala naman, so far, wala pa mga questions. So, at least um, six students um, hearted my photo, meaning six students are online. And another three um, wowed the photo, so another three online. So, okay, good. So, most likely these are the same people who are currently online or currently inside this meeting right now. Okay, so shall we start? I'll try to set up my browser first. Eh, mahirap na kasi tanga ako sa gadgets. Well, technically, hindi naman tanga, pero I'm still not familiar with um, sharing, sharing screen of um a desktop a desktop version ng ating ms teams anyhow okay so i'll try to open another how was your midweek guys today is friday how was um how was the rest of the week for you was it eventful was it interesting tiring traumatizing Lahat sila busy sa kaka-upload. Sige lang guys, kaya niyan. Some dogs are barking outside. I haven't had my coffee yet. Bad trip. Okay. So, let's... Um, I don't know if I should start with the PowerPoint file or the browse or the website. Okay, let's start with the website na lang muna. Ah, hindi, kaya na pala yun. Okay. Um, let's start with the PDF... Um, what do you call that? PowerPoint. Okay. Hopefully, on your screen, you are now seeing the PowerPoint file that I have uploaded for you guys. Um, the title is Elements of Composition in Photography. So, okay, let's start. As you can see, and it, as posted on our topic thread, we have a lot of elements of composition, but we will only focus on the five or the blue ones. Okay, so these blue ones are the default elements of composition i included the remain the other five because um again first and foremost art is subjective other people include certain items on the supposed elements so again subjective share so if they felt na it's part of it then it's part of it but again um dun tayo dun sa common common denominator or common common elements if you are to check different websites different resources um, these are the common elements that will be found uh, other than the ones in orange or red. Okay. Okay, so the elements of composition are the following. We have patterns, symmetry, texture, depth of field, and lines. So that will be, or those will be the topic for today. Okay, the first one is pattern. As you can see from this photo part, uh, in particular, it looked like it was photoshopped, parang kinapi paste um, you can see a number of tables and chairs um, arranged together properly. Not not as perfect, but as you can see, medyo slanted yung end part of the the column or the row. Pero nonetheless, it was um, arranged in a way na it served as a pattern. The good thing about patterns is that you don't have to be, you don't have to have a perfect pattern. Like for example, this shot, the the last two rows are swaying to the right and then we have people or servers four servers so it made this pattern photo more 
real, more human. Ika nga, kasi diba, whenever there is an imperfection, it is, well, I find imperfections attractive eh. Oo. Na for women, for men, pag may imperfection, mas gusto ko. Ayoko yung sobrang perfect. Nakaumay eh. I don't know about you guys. Ha? So let's let's have a, some of your classmates. Okay. Let's have Rian. Hello, Rian. Sir? Rian, anong imperfections ang gusto mo sa lalaki? Hindi ko pa alam, sir. Anak ng tao ko, imperfection nung hindi mo pa alam. Wait lang, sir. Kasi hindi pa pa ako makapag-edit. Nagtatype po kasi ako. Ay, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Sige, sige. Mag-type ka na nga lang muna. Anak ng tao ko. <laughs> sige. Let's have Debbie. Si, si, si Debbie, kagalang-galang yung photo niyo on, on, eh, on MS Teams. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Hello, dear. Same question. Anong imperfection ang hinahanap mo sa lalaki? Or saan imperfection ka attracted sa lalaki? Siguro, sir, pag ano po, minsan pasaway, gano'n. Gusto mo pasaway? Oh. Minsan mo naman, sir. Para medyo nakakatawa, gano'n. Ah, nakakatawa. Again, I, 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 was, I was worried you're like other women. Yung mga ibabae na... kumukuha ng bad boy tapos gusto nilang baguhin. Alam mo yun. Sana, kum- sana kumuha nilang sila ng aso, di ba? Kung gusto nilang i-train. Anyway, that's good. So, you you want yung mga makukulit na guys kasi nga, um, nakakatawa. It's refreshing, di ba? Um, sense of humor or kakulitan, di ba? That's great. Thank you, Be- Thank you Debbie. Thank How about Baltazar? Baltazar. Hello, sir. Imperfection. Anong imperfection ng attracted ka? Paano ba yan, sir? Yung crush ko, imperfect na. Ay, putang ina. Andito ba yun? Hindi, joke lang. Sana all. O nga, no? Hindi, joke lang. O ano, anong imperfection ng attracted ka? Attracted. Imperfection nga. Ano ba? Wala akong maisip, sir. Kasi kapag naisip mo yung crush mo or ano... Yan nga, natuturn on ka lagi, ganun. <laughs> Oo, pero what turns you on? Yung perfection ba niya ang nakaka-turn on sa'yo? Yes, sir. Ah, Sorry, okay, ganun. okay. Kasi ako, ako baligtad. Pag may imperfection, mas na-attract ako doon. Kunyari, may sungke, o kaya may eye bags. Mas gusto ko yun. Weird, no? Anyhow, let's go back to the, ano, to our PowerPoint file. Okay, sorry for that. Ayan. I find this um imperfect picture of pattern attractive kasi nga it it's it it broke it broke the monotony, eh, 'di ba? Mukhang mukhang copy paste tapos biglang pag, pagdating dito, ay shit totoo pala, 'di ba? Parang it's more eye candy, te? Oo. So yeah, I find this one really attractive. It makes it more human. I connected it um, with it more. So yeah, para sa, kasi may hindi talaga sa imperfections eh. Yung may sablay, may saltek, ganun. Oh, weird. Anyhow, another example. This one is a perfect simit, um, perfect pattern naman. So I'll be reading the commentary below. Again, these are the same commentaries that I posted on Pinoy Sandbox. Ha? There's nothing more eye-catching than patterns. These are languages spread all over a given matrix. Example, surroundings, sceneries, etc. Capturing and creating patterns takes a lot of discipline and patience. It's true, guys. Kasi when you do patterns, you will have everything against you. Kunyari, if you are taking a scenery na may pattern, as ang daming tao, di ba? So, minsan, you would wait around, you would wait for them to leave or to disappear before you take that photo. Again, patience and discipline. Okay, for capturing a lot of luck, di ba? Um, timing. Timing is everything. For creating a lot of imagination. So, yeah, like what we had with um, Sophia kanina, she, had, uh, she took a photo, pero for her, it was not enough. She needed to to do post-prod pa. That's great, di ba? Kasi it, um, it tells us about a person's creativity level. So, di ba, parang sa kanya hindi pa sufficient yun. She had to do more or she had to make it beautiful or prettier um, like how she wanted it to, di ba? So, ganun ang, ano, ang imagination dapat. 
Capturing patterns may include lighting patterns, symmetric patterns, or rhythmic patterns. This particular photo natin, yung seats, either sa sinihan, you can do this sa sinihan, sa graduation ceremony, pag nakatayo yung mga sudyante or wala pa mga students, and the seats are perfectly aligned. That is rhythmic patterns. So, the previous one is similar to a rhythmic pattern. Hindi siya super perfect. Pero yeah, it's still a pattern. So, rhythmic pattern siya, di ba? Symmetric pattern, sobrang perfect na niya. Di ba? So, talagang parang copy-pasted siya. That's the kind of um, pattern shot that I'm not particularly fond of. Mas gusto ko yung may konting irregularities or imperfections. Okay. So that is our first, or this is our first um, element of composition, pattern. So again, um, it's quite easy. Um, this is um, the, the titles or the labels are only here for you to be more familiar with, with, with uh, elements of photography, elements of composition. But uh, at the end of this, it's always how you take a good shot or how you compose your shot. The second element of composition is symmetry. So as I was saying a while ago, yung perfection, this is an example of a perfect shot. As you can see from your, hopefully, from your screen, um, it's a very mirror image of a staircase. So para siyang reflection lang, di ba? So what you can find on the left side of the photo is the same on the right. Walang, walang bahid ng imperfection or whatsoever. Even the railing is the same on the left and the right, di ba? Masyado siyang immaculate. Yeah, it's it's lovely. Um, I would love to see architectural designs or engineering designs or concepts having this. Pero, in photography, parang, alam mo yun, nakaumay. Yeah, it's attractive. Pero, para siyang commercial sa, ano, sa newspaper or sa TV, napaka-perfect masyado. Kaya, mas gusto ko yun sa commercial yung mga mukhang tao, mukhang totoong tao, eh rather than yung parang supermodel yung dating. So, this is a perfect or a symmetrical symmetry naman to if you are per, um, pertaining to the terminology on pattern. This is a perfect symmetry. And syempre, if we have a perfect symmetry, we will also have an imperfect symmetry. Yan. There will be instances when it is a good thing to focus on symmetry. And there will be times that you should avoid it totally. Depending upon the scene, symmetry can be something to go for or to avoid completely. A symmetrical shot with distinct focus and a good subject can lead to a great image. But without the distinction, it can be a little predictable. I prefer to experiment with both in one of the shoots to see which one works best. Okay. So yun nga. Um, uh, with the previous example for our symmetry, this time, however, there is no real symmetry happening. We have an intersection. It was not shot perfectly. Hindi siya dead center, guys. We have different vehicles on the on every corner. Uh, yes, yeah, siyempre may bus. Pero the amount of vehicles um, in that particular frame is not perfect. So, yeah, where is the symmetry there? The symmetry was created by the use of this light rails that we have. Light rails are known as, ang tawag sa light rails natin, yung official term. Sophia, baka familiar ka. Baka sabihin ito magta-type. Hindi pa rin. <laughs> Who else? Who else um, knows the term? Nakikita nyo sa movies, Fast and the Furious, mga ganun. Okay, wala. So, light rails um, is known as long exposure. Long exposure shots like this can create good symmetry pa rin or uh, imperfect symmetry like this one. So, as you can see, the light rails on the left is red, showing that um, it is heading towards something or pa away from us. And the um, light rails on the right is yellow or white, suggesting na the cars or the vehicles is moving towards us, di ba? Kasi headlight and rear light lagi or taillight, di ba? So, yeah. 
imperfect shot yet it creates a distinct symmetry di ba? so again you can have or you can find a lot of symmetry symmetrical subjects for your photograph anywhere you can actually create them if you can't or if you can't find any okay so that is symmetry for us guys if you have two iPhones if you have two iPhone 11 Pro Max tapat mo side by side picturean mo using your Oppo or you're using your my phone di ba again you can you can create magic by just your any common common household stuff pwede kayong magtake ng mga photos again with this um with the upcoming activities that we have uh, i i would suggest that you stay at home you don't have to do shots Malayo or on location, you have to go to Intramuros. You don't have to do that. But siyempre, there are elements or effects that you have to do in a particular time, a particular place. But again, um, I would make sure that you won't have to do it far away from your place or from your home. Okay. So that is symmetry. Let's now to the let's now go to the third element of composition, texture. Why is texture so familiar, everyone? Bakit familiar yung texture? Have we heard of texture before? Mr. Beadle, when was the last time that we heard of the term texture? Sige na po ulit. Medyo lag po ako. <laughs> Kailan natin huli narinig ang texture, pre? Ano sir, last time ko na narinig yan nga, no, kay Janela Panod. Ay puta, kailan yun? Ano yun? <laughs> Hindi sir, kasi gumawa po kami ng dream house, sir. Ah, okay, Tapos okay. Tapos sabi po niya sa akin, nagsuggest siya na ano, sa ano daw, lagyan ko daw ng texture yung walls ko. Ah, okay. Maganda kasi yung texture sa walls para um, it won't be as shiny, para matte yung dating niya. Hindi magbabounce yung reflection lagi. And it will be more soothing sa eyes. Di ba? Okay. So, yeah. Walang kinalaman sa art. Ah, pala yung texture na pinag-uusapan nila Jerome. Nevertheless, the last time we heard of texture was that it, it's an element of art. As I've mentioned before or a while ago, you will still encounter previous elements of art in our elements of composition. And texture is one of them. Okay. So texture is important in photography because like like um their definition when they are to do walls kailangan ng ano kailangan ng texture again Jerome other than the other than the reason that I mentioned bakit kailangan ng texture sa walls nyo design by yan or um 3D design or parang scale model lang sir drawing Ah, okay, drawing. How do you, how can you create, um, ano, texture pag drawing lang? Okay, copy, copy. Okay, mo may nairapa si si Jerome sa signal, so, and um, but thank you, Jerome, for 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 trying to reply. Um, oh, may medyo choppy siya. Okay, so yeah, we have texture here. Texture, um, like in any elements in in art appreciation. Hey, you know what happened? I'll wait a bit. And wala talaga siya. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so texture is created or should be present in some of our photos to create a more personal image or personal connection with your subject or with your viewer. Bakit? Kasi texture can can make um, can create a sensation to our audience na parang they, as, uh, they can almost touch it. They can almost feel it. Diba in in our in memes, in social media, diba photos that you can smell. Diba? So makita mo lang yung photos ay puta ang baho. Oh God, parang, yeah, kadiri. Diba? Pero you, you're just looking at it, diba? On a photo, on your mobile phone, diba? So, same, same goes for, for texture. Um, when you look at it, whether on a small screen of your phone, to a laptop, to a tablet, to an actual, to an actual desktop, it should create a, a sensation to you guys na parang, ay, ang smooth ng surface niya. 
same with kunyari if you're if Mr. Baltazar is looking at the uh, photo of her of his crush diba makikita niya ay yung smooth na skin sabi ang perfect nga raw diba so ang smooth na skin niya ganun let's say for example eh, let's have one of your classmates okay let's have Let's have Rian. Ito si Rian, ang ganda ng, ano, ang ganda ng profile picture. Eh. Parang maldita lang yung dating eh. Maldita o gutom dito sa photo. So parang ganon, di ba? So parang you would assume na parang ang smooth-smooth ng skin niya. And take note, malayo pa yung, fo- malayo pa yung photo niya. It's not yet in close-up. So syempre, you can do great um, examples of texture by doing macro shots or close-ups or extreme, extreme close-ups to get more texture from your photo. Your door, diba? despite na nara siya or synthetic, you would create or you would find great um, texture from it. Diba? Marbles or flooring, tiles nyo, smooth surfaces yan. Diba? So you'll have lots of examples or you'll have lots of, uh, you'll, you'll get to have lots of ideas for examples on texture. Another example of texture is this one. I'll be reading the commentary. You may have encountered texture as one of the fundamental elements of art. It is no more true here in photography. Unimpressionistic photographers either have it on special photo paper or are is byproduct of mad skills in Photoshop. But a clean glossy picture is mundane and uninteresting. Images should pop out of our magazines and laptop or ta- uh, or tablet screens. The pictures we take should come out alive, not like images from an advertisement, neat and clean. So yun nga, it should create a sensation for for your audience or for your viewers na parang ay napaka real, photorealistic or fo- uh, napaka realistic ng photo mo, parang andun talaga ako, di ba? Um nag- nagkakaroon ng first hand um impression si audience or si si odd um si viewer natin for our photos if uh, you would know naman when and how to create texture diba if you're doing a sky don't create texture diba ang sagwa noon para kang nag picture na sky tapos pinrit mo sa matte paper yung sa ano alam niyo yung matte paper yung para hindi magkaroon ng fingerprint yung ano yung picture nyo magaspang yung photo paper na ginagamit that's matte oo wag niyo gagamitan ng matte pag sky ang subject or too big kasi it would create conflict sa utak ng audience natin sa utak ng viewer natin the this picture should be smooth why am i parang but na nandidiri ako parang ganon so again try to complement the photo that you're using the the photo that you're creating if it's a brick wall then sana mas rough diba if it's um if it's clouds if it's um marble syempre dapat smooth yung output natin don't use matte or um textured photo paper always use glossy again piliin niyo kung kailan kayo gagamit ng texture when not to okay so i'll try to look for something um, ay, ayoko, ayoko muna. Um, that's why I was waiting for entries for our attendance. Kasi gusto ko makakita ng mga examples for composition. Although your activity is for elements of um, photography, I would want to see some examples that I can use for composition. Pero unfortunately, ako pa lang ang gumagawa. Okay. So we have pattern. We have symmetry. We have texture now. Our fourth and second to the last element is element of um is uh, is depth of field. Sorry, depth of field creates distance. It creates the gap between our foreground, this one, and the rest, the background. You can also think of this as the negative space. So you build on the negative space para ma define, ma emphasize. Si subject natin. So from this photo, you can you can you can just assume that the subject is really the padlock, di ba? The chain, the post, the walls are all secondary elements. So these are all backgrounds. Okay. So depth of field can be used or is is created by um, shifting your focal point. 
um, for you for those using mirrorless and DSLRs. Yeah, just yung focal point nyo. So, mag-separate si subject from the background. Lagi. Nowadays, with our smartphone, with our digit digital cameras, um, you can just um, open your camera. I'm opening my camera. And then just choose portrait, yung portrait image. Again, you're not shooting portrait photos, pero the effect is still the same. On portrait, wait, now make sure you're using the rear camera. On portrait, hanapin nyo yung, kung ano yung subject nyo, which, is, which should be pinakamalapit, tap on it, and it will automatically blur out the background. That's how portrait works. Portraits started um, with the advent of two or dual camera lenses. So it created uh, similar to an SLR experience because with SLRs or um, yeah, DSLRs, you have multiple lenses in your body or in your camera. And it um, when you shift the focal point, when you adjust the focal point, nagihiwalay yung dalawang lenses na yun. Similar to what is happening in our dual cam phones. With, with the two cameras, it creates or it functions or it works simultaneously together, but one focuses on the on the subject and the other one on the background. So, magkaiba yung processes nila. And because this is a digital camera, technically, yun, the post-processing happens in the background or uh, ano, behind the scenes, ika nga, para hindi kayo makonfuse. Kaya, we get to have an easier depth of field. So, so uh, ayan, before I move on to the to my second commentary, asahin ko muna to. Depth of field is, is the distance between the closest and the farthest objects in your image that are acceptably sharp. It's measured in feet or meters. The depth of field can be shallow or narrow or large. When it's shallow, just a small part of your photograph appears sharp. Okay, so for this particular photo, this is now known as bokeh or bokeh. Bokeh or bokeh is a depth of field um, effect, pero meron siyang light sources like this. The, the light bulbs, the different color light bulbs, this creates a bokeh effect. Um, we will have more examples later when we, when we visit the website. Okay, so um, every bokeh or every boca is a depth of field, okay? But not all depth of field are bokas or bokeh. Bokeh na lang para isa lang yung term natin. Again, hindi lahat ng, um, hindi lahat ng depth of field bokeh. But lahat ng bokeh, depth of field siya, guys. Okay? Except if you will cheat on your bokeh. May mga Snapseed, may mga apps tayo that creates um, bokeh effect. Eh. Pero again, sa original na muna tayo. So yeah, that's um, that's depth of field for you guys. We'll try to discuss bokeh um, on Monday. I uh, sorry, on Tuesday for our series of activities and quizzes. Okay, but for now, let's stick with depth of field muna. The last element of composition that we will be discussing today is lines. Again, line like our texture are two examples of our elements of art. Line in photography or in composition, in this particular element of composition, should direct your eyes or your viewer's eyes to a particular subject. Hindi sila yung subject, but it should direct our eyes to the intended subject. Like, take this um, example natin as an example, di ba? Redundant. The lines direct our eyes to the two couples or the two individuals on our upper right photo, di ba? So that's how lines should work. Lines, when it appears or when we have it on photos, if it doesn't direct um, to anything at siya ang subject mo, it's not a line. Or I mean, it's a line, pero you cannot use that as an element of composition. It's just, it just happens to be there. But to be considered an element of composition, your line should direct to something. Okay? So, lalo na for our activity, hindi porket may line dyan, may, may bars na marami para na siyang pattern. It's line. Okay? 
So again, line will only be considered if it directs to something, something important or to the subject itself. Okay, so again, be careful in choosing lines when you do your activities and quizzes. Last example and my commentary. Pattern of lines or intersection of lines can, can also be the subject of an image. Yes, pero it should direct to a particular point. In photography, the key is to use the lines in a scene to your compositional advantage. To do this, Successfully, the lines of an image should lead the viewer's eye toward a subject. So, as I was, so I was, as I was saying, sorry, ida direct ni siya. So, for this particular photo, tali lang siya. It's a series of ropes tied together in the center. Siyempre, yung knot, yung naging subject niya. As a whole, siyempre, yung itong image na ang subject. Pero, the lines direct us or our eyes to a particular area which is the knot or yung pulupot ng tali, di ba? So, in that way, the knob is our main subject and the lines there direct our eyes to it. Okay, so don't be confused or try not to be confused. Okay, so these are the five major elements of composition. We have patterns, symmetry, texture, depth of field or DOF para madali and lines. Okay, so let's make use of the term lines, plural form. Lines, pag element of composition. Line, if it's an element of art. So at least meron tayong separation or meron tayong distinction between one from the other. Okay, <clears throat> um, let's go to my website or to the website so we can see uh, a bit more example. Where's my website? Where's my website? Here I am. Oh, yun. Okay. Five elements of composition. Again, I won't be reading um, any more the commentary because it's one and the same. Diba? Tamad na magsulat eh. Pero otherwise, yeah. Pattern. As, as, as I mentioned before, series ng upuan or alignment of seats can create great lines. This is a perfect pattern. Walang halong... Walang blemish, walang, walang imperfection. With, with symmetry naman, this one. Um, symmetrical, both sides having the same staircase or escalator. And the girl in the center. Diba? It was shot at the center then. So, diba? It's a perfect symmetry. Siyempre, the girl um, is, is posing differently. So, you can call it as a... Um, you can call it imperfect, pero para sa akin, perfect symmetry pa rin siya. Kasi nasa center naman. If, it, if she's on a side, symmetry pa rin siya, pero syempre imperfect. Diba? This one is still perfect, kahit na hindi symmetrical yung, yung post ni ate. For texture, yan, you can do macro shots. Macro shots of leaves, of any objects, even your mouse, yung glossiness ng mouse ko yung roughness nung laptop um, trackpad, you can create, you can find a lot of textures if you're just creative enough or you, if you try to be creative. Oh, marami, diplomas nyo, pictures on your walls, um, cabinets, diba? Ang dami nyo makukuha textures dyan. DOF or depth of field. Sorry, I forgot or I, I lost my example here. Again, depth of field is like bokeh. Pero minus the light sources. Yung walang mga bumbilya, walang source of lights. Basic lighting lang siya. And then blurred background. So it focuses on one particular subject lang. The rest are, back, uh, the rest are blurred. So that's depth of field. And syempre lines. As I've mentioned before, your lines should direct to someone or something. Or a particular subject sa photo natin. This example on our website is no different. So, pababa yung lines or pataas depending on how you look at it. Pero, if you will see, pa-close, pa-V-shape yung lines natin. Eh. Hindi siya straight talaga. Meaning to say, pababa yung tingin. So, yan nga. Andun yung subject. Diba? Andun yung lalaki naka payong. Okay? So, again, it directed our eyes to this particular person na may payong. Okay? Another set of PowerPoint files or... <laughs> Sorry, another set of examples 
is available on our PowerPoint file here. Okay, so try to download here if you are not satisfied with the PowerPoint that I posted on our Teams. May extra dito isa, so you can have additional additional no, additional examples. Again, I can't provide more examples because I want to see your photos first. Eh? Uh, but by the way, speaking of, let's look at your photos. Let's look at the status or you own. We have more. Wow, clouds, cloud porn. Okay, so hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. The our our this this ano uh, this this teams natin. Okay, I like the ano uh, I like um Jerome's photo. Dami nyan chicks. These two girls um is sitting on a what kind of stuff? Yan. Ang ganda. Pang pang photography talaga yung location ano? What's what's in Fort Santiago? Um, Jerome, is this parang park? Ano sir? Is, ano po sa Fort Santiago po yung sa may bandang dungeon po? Pero kasi ano lang yan sir? Ano lang display lang po nila? Kasi po yeah. ano nan? Ano po for ano? Eco waste po yun pa yun. Ah, parang ano, mga tubo tubo ba to? Po? Mga tubo tubo. Hindi sir, ano po 'yan? Um ano ba 'yan? Ano po 'yan? Ginawa po 'yan ng engineer, yung geometrical box ano na po 'yan na background. Tas ano po, since eco waste team po 'yun noon, yung mga nakalagay po diyan sa per box is mga libro po na may ah, iba't ibang books. Ah, I see. Akala ko yung mismong parang pipes na inuupuan nung dalawang mo models mo yung ano. yung mismong parang art. Anyhow, ang ganda ng location. Pang ano, pang Instagram ika nga. Inst Instagramable yung dating, di ba? Yeah, I, I like this. Yung shot mo nga lang sana mas center pa sa kanila and this would be perfect. Nakita yung sinelas nila. Sinelas ba to? Nasa baba? Let me click on it. Ah, hindi. Ah, to. Black, black. Mapa? Yung isang nasa kanan parang tutulog na yun. Anyhow, this, this is great. Ang ganda. Sana lang medyo eye level, pero this is perfect. Ang ganda ng, ang ganda ng lugar. Meron Thank naman you. po, sir, na center. Oh, sayang. Dapat yun yung pinost mo dito sa atin. Post mo rin, ha? So, uh, so we can see. Ang ganda, maganda yung lugar. Okay, thank you, Jerome. Let's have Joanna's. Joanna, uste. Okay. Hi, sir. Yan, cloud porn as usual. So, um... So according to her, she has almost all elements of photography in uh, in this particular photo. Light, champre, sky, a color, champre, the blue sky and the white clouds. Moment. What's what's um, the particular moment here, dear? Joanna, ano moment dito? May nagrarally ba? May nagpapatayan? Oh, nawala si Joanna. Are you okay, Joanna? Joanna! Okay, she's... Hello, yun. hello sir. Ayun, hi! Welcome back. Hello, sir. Ano, sir, yung moment dyan? Kasi marami din mga students. No? Time na. Eh, okay. Wala nang kumbinta. Ano pag dyan? Hindi ko sir, alam eh. May, may stage po kasi doon. Yun po ato yung Paskuhan nila. Mm, uh, Nagre-reddit sa Paskuhan. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um you went here when you took up your entrance exam? Opo, sir. Okay, sige, sige. So, that was um her moment. Actually, Yeah, okay pa rin naman. Kaya lang sana sila yung focus if you are to include moment. Sila yung focus dapat. May moment na nagaganap. Dito kasi parang naputol lang sila kaya hindi natin ma-discern kung may moment talaga. Anyways, and distance. Siyempre, if you will see the distance, um, si... I forgot who who this is. Then siyempre, uh, you can see the, the farness naman or you can imagine the farness naman of this bust or this statue. from the building behind it, di ba? So, yeah, let's distance. Thank you, Joanna. Again, next time, guys, ha, pag may moment, 
make sure present yung moment sa photo, hindi yung para na extra lang, ganun. Okay? Let's have Jocelle. I took this picture at um, in school with my photo ca- phone camera and we were having Christmas party. Okay. Wow, Christmas party lang to sa school. All the elements are present in this photo. The contrast of the light and the color. Really, okay, yeah, tama to. I had a lot of trouble with capturing this because it needs the right distance and composition. Okay. Moment really highlighted my subject, which is the Christmas lights. Okay, yeah. Christmas lights is automatically a moment shot. Bakit? Kasi it's not usual that you see Christmas lights, di ba? Because it usually is present during Christmas season, di ba? So, yeah. Okay, so we have here light color, the moment, the distance, the composition, yun nga, inangguluhan niya maayos. Okay, yeah, yeah. Giselle, this is um this is a complete um photo. Thank you. Yon, I like this shot. Janica, are you online? Yes, sir. Pasahin ko lang sagdali before I ask you something. Ha. Hindi po. Parang ang lungkot mo. <laughs> hindi naman tita, hindi naman kita papagalitan. <laughs> hindi naman, sir. Okay, this photo was taken here in Pangasinan using my phone camera. An element that is present here in this photo is of course light. Yeah, sun sunset kasi ang ganda ng shot. Because of the light from the sun reflecting. Moment can also be observed here because it catches the setting of the sun. True. Yeah. Sunset, sunrise, moment shots sila. I took this using an angle which uses foregrounding. Which is, okay. So, ito. So, can we, can you discuss more about the particular angle you shot this? Yes. Um, Jenica, okay ka na. Go, talk. Ayan nga po, sir. Um, ano, parang nilapit ko po yung camera sa bandang tubig po. Para maano yung foreground po. Okay, so, nilapit mo sa tubig, which is great. Ang ganda, ang, ang dynamic. Pero, you can do, you could have done a very balanced shot na malapit sa tubig. How come, medyo tilt, hindi, hindi medyo, tilted yung shot mo. Bakit? Para unique lang sir, tapos parang pantay yung, yung ano, parang dalawang sides po. Kung Pwede ba- naman dalawang sides na up and down, but, but left and right yung ano mo, yung ginawa mo. Wala lang, talagang gusto mo lang talaga unique, ganun. Opo oh, sir. Yan, yeah, ganda, ang ganda kasi. Um, yeah, you will see lots of beach photos, um, photos in, in water. Pero, but, um, it's, it's, quite rare to see a shot taken in an angle like this. Ang ganda. Uh, wait lang, let me zoom in. Yan, ang ganda ng shot. Um, some people do this to focus on the uh, underwater. Di ba, nakaslant pa rin like this one. Pero half of the photo nasa surface, other half the photo, underwater yung shot. Di ba? Um, it takes great underwater cameras and yeah, skill pa rin. Pero this one, syempre, ang focus ni Miss Yutok is the sun, the sun setting. Na, na-capture pa rin yung reflection ng sun sa water. And at the same time, yun nga, um, the vastness of the clouds, the sky, ang ganda. Kasi yung water, yung ripples ng water, galing. I, I, I like this one. Pusuan ko, sa, pusuan ko lang saglit ha, before I move on. Thank you, Janica. Thank you, okay, po, sir. So let's have Sophia. Sophia, this is where? In Cebu. This photo was taken a year ago. It was in Cebu. Moment, light, and color were present in this photo. As you can see, the light emphasized the color of the sea. Oh, yes. And the sky, it makes you feel the moment better. Okay. Okay. Ano raw? Joke lang po pala ito. An- ito po yung pick. An- ano raw? Sophia, adik ka ba ngayon? This sir, kasi tinanong ko po kanina if pwede po yung edited picture. Yeah, pwede, pwede naman. Eh, hinanap ko po yung original picture eh nakita ko po siya. So, ayun na lang po yung pinos ko. Ah, when you say original, yung ano, un- unedited, <laughs> gano'n. Ah, okay, okay. Kala ko may secondary picture ka pa, kaya may original. Okay. Saan ka, saan ka gumagala? Ba't parang nasa labas ka na naman, Sofia? Hindi, sir, ah. Nasa loob ako. Lakas ng aircon dyan or electric fan, ah? Hindi, sir. Ano yun yung fan nung laptop? Ah, wow. Wow. Okay. Ayan, yeah. Now, minsan, you can do skies as moment din. Kasi, di ba, um, 
Rhombus, ni ano? I forgot the names of the class. Stratus, Nibulus, tama ba? Yun. Pero, nonetheless, yeah. Okay to. Um, even, ano, yeah, medyo, medyo less on moment, pero ang ganda, ang ganda pa rin ito. I like the gradient of colors, the shift from dark blue to white. Although, bumalik din siya kasi nag-blue ulit and then nag-white. Pero, yeah, ang ganda. Um, I would want to see the edit or the edited version that you ano that you were mentioning kanina kung paano paano anong difference nung ginawa mo Ipo-post ko din sir or mag on cam na lang po ako Ah, oh, wag ka mag on cam. <laughs> Post mo na lang. <laughs> Sige. Okay, let's have Mavi. Uh, Mavi, this is in Singapore. Okay. This photo was taken at Marina Barrage in Singapore a few months ago. Wow, tara, nakapag Singapore ka pa before ng quarantine. I'm confident that all the elements are present and I am proud that this photo was edited. Okay. The cro- the color is represented by the sunset and the blue sky. It also emphasizes the blue, uh, the beautiful structure of Marina Bay Sands. Since I love sunsets, I took the chance to capture this unforgettable scene. Okay. Yeah. Ang ganda ng ang ganda ng gradient. Um sunset again it's moment, it's light, it's color. Kapasok na kagad sa tatlo. And then we have Siguro ang ang weak lang dito is distance kasi nga you have no prior subject, lahat sila background eh, even the people. Pero otherwise, yeah. Ang ganda ng shot na ano. Ang ganda ng photo. Parang ano lang nga. Um, ano to? May, may ano tong dumi sa taas? Saranggola ba to? Is this oh, a oh, sir. Ah, okay, okay. Ang pangit ng saranggola sa ere, no. <laughs> Lalo na pag mag-isa, alam mo yung parang ano, parang langaw lang eh. Anyways, yeah, okay. So, yeah, ang ganda nung ano, ang ganda nung ang ganda nung Marami nang... po nag uh, ano, nagpapalipad po ng kite po diyan. Ah. Kasi po ma- malakas yung hangin. Mhm. The last time I was here, andun lang kami dun sa ship. Hindi uh, hindi kami nakaikot-ikot dito sa picture mo. Hindi kami nakapunta ah, dito. Bad trip lang. Anyhow, uh, siguro dahil na rin siguro sa sobrang taas ng mga escalator, nahilo na ako eh. <laughs> hmm. Di ba yung paakit sa pinaka-ship? Ang sobrang tarik nung escalator, di ba? Sir, hindi pa po nakapunta dun. <laughs> Ay, sa labas ka lang. Baligtad pala tayo. Uh-huh. Okay, kami doon sa taas. Oo. Ang ganda. Okay. Sige, sige. Um, yeah, ganda na sunset mo. What what camera were you using? What phone camera were you using? Ano po, iPhone 8 Plus An- po. Ah, iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, okay. Sige. Thank you, Miss Mavi. Sana all nakakapag sana nakapag <laughs> ano, nakapag Singapore bago mag ano, Sakto COVID. Sakto po bago po magka-COVID, naka-uwi na po kami. Ay good. Oh, kasi kung di, you'll be stranded there. Oo. Oh, nakakatakot 'yun. Thank you. Thank you po. Napakalungkot ng mga classmates natin today. Okay, we have a doggo. This the fo- this photo of my dog was taken last year at at our Howard house in Malabon. Also, all the elements are present in here, especially the composition that was clearly shown because of how the photographer, the photographer, dapat sa mo, how I, iba ikaw yung photographer, how I shot the dog's angle facing the window. Moment and light and color are also present. Since you, since you can see the ray of light, yeah. This is a moment shot. Lalo na kasi, um, go, ano siya, golden hour. Yellowish because of the light or because of the sun. And, syempre, we have color. Uh, we have light, syempre, obviously. Yung composition, syempre, um, yun, kita yung naka parang, ano ba to, nguso niya na nasa loob ng, ano, jealousy. Tama, no? Oo, uh, nguso yan. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yun yan. Di ba, ganda ng pagkakashot. Uh-oh. Anong name? Ng dogo mo? Si Waffle po, sir. Waffle. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, kami generic lang yung pangalan ng aso namin Pochi lang eh. <laughs> okay, thank you Miss Ma- uh, Miss Marielle. Thank you sir. And we have let's have John Denver. Okay, so phone camera pero may ano? May timestamp? Yes sir, edited yung sa app po. Ah, parang filter filter na. 
Apo, sir. Anak ng toka. Okay. It was raining that day at Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma Senior High School. Haba ng pangalan school nyo, grabe. The date was sh- was on the photo. I assure you that I had it on this photo. There's that shield feeling. So there's that shield feeling. So I grab it, my phone, and take the entrance of our building. I used some app to make it. Anong anong actual app yung ginamit mo pang filter filter dito pre? Talik dan ka sir. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sige, sige. Pero yeah, I I retrika para mga ganon, di ba? Mga ganon yung style. Yung parang pinapaluma niya yung photo, parang ganun yung style niya eh. Okay. The colors are dark as it puts sadness to the area. Ayan, napaka-gloomy nga eh, ng picture. And the angle was enough to emphasize the feeling that was that the area was a meeting. Yes. Ah, nga. Ang galing. Yan, moment. Diba? Umuulan, tas gloomy feel. Uh-huh. Let's have, ano to? Dinian, this, fo- this photo was taken using my phone camera last March. I took this photo while we were preparing for an op- opening worship for one of the big events of YFC. The element that is present in this photo is focus. The photo focus on my hand. Okay. So, yeah. Instead of calling this focus, this is actually depth of field. Pero malinaw tong kamay ni Daniel. and blurred konti, or hindi kalinawan si background natin. Ito mo, wala naman tayong focus sa ano, element of, uh, element of photography. Pinagaluluka ako ni Daniel. Eh. Next! Krista. This photo was taken last December after I attended the concert in Araneta. Elements that were present on this photo are light, which made the whole Araneta feel like a uh, Christmas vibe. And also this is which I chose to shot in a far view for the viewer to see how Araneta looked like during Christmas season. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Medyo tagilid lang konti. Pero yes. Uh, Christmas vibes. Uh, Christmas vibes. Yes, Debbie. Ay, Debbie? nabigat lang po. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Kala ko aangal ka sa picture ni, ano, ni Daniel eh. Okay. Kaya ko may away dito. Christian. Oh. Look, Van Kesson. The element that is present in this photo is light color because um, in this photo, you will see a nice scenery um, in Look, Van, and the natural sunlight during morning is create, uh, is create a nice photo. Yeah. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. Ano to? Resort? Christian? Sa may, ano po, sa may kamay ni Jesus, background po. Kamay ni Jesus. Ah, pag nung nakaakit ka na sa taas. Oo, oh, pa doon po sa pinakataas po. Ah, uh, Okay, so yeah, I haven't been there. Malayo ako sa malayo ako sa kamay ni Jesus. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, tama. Photo light. Uh-oh. Actually, even the composition pre, maganda na yung composition may kasi almost almost centered para hinati sa gitna yung photo mo. Yung nga lang may umbok ng puno sa left side, pero otherwise balance sana eh. The the white and blue and the green and Red something, di ba? Yeah, ang ganda. Composition na rin. Pwede to composition. So, Salvador. Uy, chicks. I took this photo of my sister last July for trying out my new phone. What's your new phone, Mr. Carlo? Ah, uh, Realme 6 Pro Pro. Wow, Realme 6. Latest. The elements that were present are the light and the distance. Okay, good, yeah. Exactly, light and distance siya. Kasi, we have here the silhouette or the shape of your sister. And she's very clear. And then the background is blurred. So yeah, we can have light and distance dito. Technically, this is now considered de- depth of field, di ba? Pero yeah, very apt or very spot on yung, ex- yung elements na pinili mo. Ito, uh, si Mr. Baltazar sa TPLEX. I captured this photo on TPLX while we are having some issues with our car. Oh, di ba? Kag- May some blessing in these guys pag nasisiraan kayo sa akin eh. You get to do photos like this. I used long exposure on this photo. Um, may I know? Eh, taposin ko muna. The element presented in this photo were light and color. Yeah. We can see the lights coming from cars passing by and the colors coming from their light trails. 
Um, Adobe Lightroom was used to enhance the photo. Okay, may I ask what photo or what camera phone or phone um, camera do you use, Mr. Baltasar? Sir, Vivo po. Phone. Nice. Anong anong unit? V eleven po, sir. Ah, akin nineteen. Nineteen Neo. Y- yun. <laughs> yun palang yung latest noon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Um, that's uh, that's um, actually Vivo is uh, is one of the up and coming third world um, brands. Na ang ganda ng camera. So I I I I sold my Huawei and got a Vivo, de ba? Ang weird. Pero yeah, ang ganda ng ano, ang ganda ng camera ng ano ng Vivo. Okay, thank you, Val. So let's have a few yes, more. Ito ang ganda. Ay banaho pa nato. This photo was taken using a phone camera at Mount Banaho last year. Five elements are present. Light, moment, present, the sky, and calming. Colors can be seen as the greenery. Yes, of course. Oh, Composition and distance moment. Never attractive. Yes. Ang ganda. Um, parang ano. Um, I don't know if um, Fritzy um, intended it, pero parang nakakap yung, ano, yung green. Parang nakakap siya sa, sa sky. Parang naka... Yung, I can't show you my hands kahit pinapakita ko sa ano sa screen ng laptop ko pero yan para naka yung shape niya parang curved di ba ang ganda this is a great ano composition again some compositions guys are automatic minsan you just have to take a photo of it sometimes you you create your own composition in this case Siyempre, hindi naman ni Fritz si ginalaw yung mga halaman para magkaroon ng ganyang klasing korte di ba pero yeah I like this one. Let's have, oh, ito. Kay, kay Mr. Mar. Immersion in Laguna. Light color, moment. Sana sinabi mo na lang na isa lang yung wala dyan. Di. Ah, hindi. One, two, three, four. Ano lang yung wala dito? Um, light color, moment. Distance. Ano yung kulang? Wait lang ha, I forgot. What? Step, sir. Hindi, composition. Composition pa lang wala kay Mar. Yun yung hindi niya dinagdag. Okay. But this is, ano, this is great then. Parang nagkaroon ng imaginary line. Peste lang talaga yung mga puno sa kaliwa eh. Same with, um, same with, kayo nung photo ba yun? Yung may, may puno rin sa kaliwa. Where was that? Nakawala lagi yung mga photos na kinuha. Ayun. Kay Christian Jax. Ganun din eh. May parang puno sa gilid. Ayan. Pero yeah, parang imaginary line na. Ayan. Ganda. Um, it's, um, indeed, maganda yung shot ni Mar. Kompleto nga yung, um, yung apat na elements talaga na mention niya is all present. Or are all present. Uy! Top down. This is one of the photos I took last year in Eli Rock. Buljun. Buljun. Cebu. Some of the elements of photography that is present in this photo are light, colors, and composition. Siyempre, di ba? How she took the photo, yung pag-angle niya, is composition already. And then, siyempre, the light, siyempre, it's daytime, ample light. And then, siyempre, the color, we have the white, technically white rocks, literally. Um, the gray pavement and the blue water or greenish water. Yeah, we have colors. Okay, I usually focus my shots based on its composition and the light of this photo brings more emphasis to the breathtaking view. This was a memorable... Are you moving, um, Miss Angelica? Are you moving or naglalakad ka lang yan? Is she present? <laughs> Ayan. Hi, Angelica. Ano, naglakad lang talaga kayo dyan sa edge nung, ano, nung cliff? Sir, ano po? Oh sabi, <laughs> uh, sabi ko kung naglakad ka, papunta dyan sa edge ng cliff before you took the shot. Yes po. Wala kang fear of heights? Opo. Sir, meron po. Pero eh, para sa picture. Ah, yeah. Oh, for the gram, ika nga nila. Uh, I, I, I believe you posted this on Instagram. Apo. Oh, kasi naka-square na siya eh. <laughs> What camera were you using? 
what camera are you using or were you using? Ako, nag-sign out na si Angelica. Okay. Ayun, 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 ayun. Are you still there, Angelica? And she's out. Okay. Pero, yeah. Yes, na na siya. Po. Ayun, ayun. Ano? Anong camera ginamit mo before mawala ka ulit? Samsung D7 monitor po. Ano raw? Samsung, ah, Samsung, sir. Ah, Samsung, Samsung. So, wag ka na magalit. Sorry na, sorry na. Okay, thank you. Galit agad. Thank you po. <laughs> Para naabala ko si Angelica. Thank you po. Okay yan. Kay Rian, ito ang ganda rin para may ano, imaginary line sa, sa gitna. Ang ganda ng ano, ng composition. Wait lang. Did she mention composition? Ay, hindi siya naglagay ng composition. Pero yet, uh, Rian, ang ganda ng composition dito kasi very, very centered din. Gitnang gitna yung shot. Yan na. Photo was taken at the window of my room using my phone. Element of the photo present are moments, light, color. Every morning, ganyan yung view niya. Ganda. The color of this photo present by the sky. Okay, yes. True. Ang ganda. Enough said. Wait, this is in Marinduque. This is this the white elephant, um, elephant island. Mr. Who took this? Mr. Angelo. Ito ba yung elephant island? Hello po. Hi. Um, hello po. Um, hindi po eh. Anong area to sa Marinduque? Sa may... Um, tawag po dyan. Basta may magpog po. Ah, magpog. Are you, are you, ano, from Marinduque talaga? Opo, father side. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, my father side is also from Marinduque. Kami ay sa, where was that? Um, Buwak. Ah, Buwak. Okay. Uh, uh, we have lots of, ano, oo, we have lots of, we have lots of, um, anong tawag dito? Um, relative sa, ano, sa magpog din. Ano kami? Hernandez. Ah, okay. Hernandez, uh, Macdon, yan. Ano raw, pre? Okay, ulit. Um, kami po is from Santa Cruz din. Ah, okay, okay. Sige, sige. Thank you. Eh, di ba? I, I don't like Marinduque. <laughs> Ayoko pumupunta doon nung bata ako eh. Pero yeah, with this photo, parang may entice kahit sino eh. Sa shot nito. Ganda. Ganda na lighting. Kasi, um, Angela, di ba mabato yung mga beaches sa, ano, sa, uh, sa Marinduque? Ang um, yung karami po. I'm sorry? Pero may isa po yung ano eh. Um, karamihan po ay is, ano, mabato. Ah, okay. Merong um, hindi? Pero, Saan yun? Ano ba? Saan yung hindi mabato? Yung ano po, white sand, ano, poktoy. Poktoy? Apo. Oh, maganda, maganda talaga yung beach. Opo, Torrijos po siya eh. Parang doon po Oh, sige, sige. At least I will have another reason if ever pumunta kami ulit ng Marinduque. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you rin po. Ayan, this one is by Billy Joe. Ang ganda na shot ni Billy. Billy, is this edited? Billy. Hello, Billy. Okay, feeling ko tulog si Billy. And er, now, aray ko. O oh, ano, pre? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning po yan yun sa may bandang bubong po. Oo, oh, oh, oh. pero edited ba to Hindi. Hindi po. Talagang kulay pula yung sky? Yes po. Ay, ang ganda ng sunset mo, pre. Pulang pula. Oh yeah, this moment. Um, hindi naman nilagay ni Billy na moment, pero yeah, ang gandang moment shot nito. Diba? Sunset. Galing. Parang dinownload mo na to sa ano ah, from Facebook mo ah. Oh. Wag na pre, okay na, okay na tayo. Sige, wag na. Hindi <laughs> ko na, hindi na kita kakausapin. Thank you. Ang ganda ng picture. <laughs> Thank you po. 
Uh, this one's from Jamila Puno. This is in Baguio. Yeah, ang gaganda ng mga puno sa Baguio eh. Unfortunately, I have no more internet connection or the website is acting up. I cannot click on any photos. Yun! Wait lang. Yun. Ayun. I'm um, going back kasi hindi ko maklik yung photo na isa ni Jamila. This photo ni um, ni Bidel. This is great. Ang ganda. Yung, yung eye level. Eye level. Now I know the reason ba't nakaangat si ano si 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 dalawang girls. Kasi kitang-kita pala Jerome yung ano yung family sa likod ano. Kaya pala inangat mo. Tama ba yung reason ko? Yung ba yung reason mo, Jerome? And tulog na rin siya. Sige, sige na nga. Hindi na ako magtatanong. Anyhow, guys. So, the, um, yeah, I, 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 I appreciate the, the photos that you submitted for your activity number four and slash attendance. Again, um, as early as now, I can see that you have a taste for beauty rin naman. So, um, despite na wala pa kayong formal, formal knowledge, or at least for some people, wala sila formal knowledge about photography, they can actually do great photos na talaga. It's only a matter of time before they can hone their skills. And syempre, it would be fun then that you get to know the labels of what you've been doing all these years, di ba? So, marami na kayong kinukuha photos, hindi nyo lang alam kung ano yung mga terminologies. So, at least this time, hopefully nakakadagdag sa kaalaman nyo when you when you shoot certain photos in a particular manner, di ba? A particular way. Ito, new year ata to. Pretty monster. Are you a pretty monster, Jerry? Sir, ano lang, MM lang yun, sir, kasi dati nagaganyan po kayo mga quote-quote sa picture. Oh, ba't hininto mo? Tinatawad na ako, sir. <laughs> Quarantine mo sa ano? Opo. Pero try to do it. Ang ganda ng ano. Ang ganda. May page ka niyan ng Pretty Monster. Hindi, minsan, sir, nag-upload lang ako sa Pinterest. Ah. Okay. Try mo. Try mo. I, ano, try mo buhayan. Maganda. Tapos tanggalin mo yung space. Tanggalin mo yung space ng Pretty Monster. So, Pretty Monster, one word lang siya. It will be a lot better and a lot more appealing. Ganda. Sayang. Tuloy mo. Yes, sir. Para napilitan si ano eh. <laughs> napilitan si Jerry. Okay. Ayan, this one is um, Sophia's edited version naman. Ah, yes. Oo. Um, ang tawag namin dito, Sophia, is ano eh. Teal and orange. Whenever we do, um, whenever we do beach uh, photos, when we edit, we call it teal and orange. Kasi, di ba, um, yung sky, nagiging teal ang color minsan. And then, pag yung ilaw naman or yung sun, nagiging orange when you, ano, when you um, I, um, increase saturation. Diba? Anyways, ang ganda, ang ganda, maganda to. This one is great. Pang ano, pang IG talaga. We have Debbie. Ayun, Debbie. I like this one. Guys, this is called silhouette photography or contrajour. Contrajour is a French term for silhouette photography. Oh, so, yeah. Ganda. Um, silhouette of people lang, of tents or huts. Tapos yung gradient ng sky. Tapos yung moon. Di ba? Ang perfect. Panira lang tong poste ng kuryente nyo eh. Pero otherwise, yeah. Ganda, ang ganda. Thanks, Debbie. Hindi na kita kakausapin. But I really love your photo. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Sige, para maano. Debbie? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Salamat. <laughs> uh, Margo, Sherelle, five years ago. Ikaw ba to, Margo? Hindi. Ah, hindi. Lalaki pala. He was laughing at the video behind my back. Dahil mo na photograph present. It's a moment. True, di ba? Simple laughter of kids. Uh, moment shot. Hmm. Great. Ang cute, ang cute. Ano. Is, this, is this your brother? Baby brother? Opo, sir. Ang cute, ang cute. 
Ayan, si Miss Janela. Okay, I'm running or I don't have a good internet connection, guys, right now. Um, have I have I showed you our IM? Na mention ko na ba last meeting to? Everyone, I am. Saan na ba si Bidel? Bidel, na-discuss ko na ba yung I am sa inyo last time? I think I lost my internet connection. Did I lose my internet connection, guys? No, po. Yun, hi. Kala ko nawala na ako ng internet connection, Sorry. Jerome, na-discuss ko ba yung IM last time? Jerome? Pre? Sist? Hindi ka po hindi ka po kayo marinig. Hindi niyo ako marinig? God. Choppy, nag-choppy ako. Okay, um if you can't um hear me guys, um try to watch this na lang. Hopefully. This is I am I am e y e e m dot com. This will be the app that we will be using for your quizzes and um performance tasks for midterm. Okay, so These are some of your students. This is some of your, some of the works of your classmates or schoolmates. I am is similar to Instagram. You can post your photos whether on desktop or on on an app, ba? So, yeah, this is my la- latest photo. Again, you can post anything, pero. Um, you can um, the good thing about IM compared to other apps is that you can actually earn. You can sell your photos. Okay, so you can sell it. Right now I have earned one dollar because I'm not much active. But before I I used to uh, nakapag payout na kasi ako dante. But yeah, oh, naka earn pa naman ako one dollar. Ngayon you post eh you'll you'll be posting your activities here. Okay, like this one. Yeah, so like this. You will see if the photo is for sale or not. Yeah, ganda, ganda na photo. So, you have our theme, our section and activity. Kunyari, you you what section do you, what section is this again? See what two o two o two two o one. Let me check what section you guys are. So. Oh. 201, sorry. Okay, so 201. Um, yun. Tapos either performance task one or activity one. So nakalag-indicate dyan sa tag natin. And yung art app, tapos yung theme natin. And then the three elements. Element of photography, element of composition, and, and effects. The effects we will discuss on Tuesday before we start with our actual activities. So yun. Some some of your class, some of your schoolmates um, have done this, and some of them actually got paid, or they they were able to sell their photos. Ito ganda pang Jollibee commercial, lo. So you have depth of field, bokeh, color, and then the theme, camaraderie, their section, and de ba? So it's really nice, ang ganda. So you will be doing the same then in a, in a smaller scale. You don't have to go out. For your activities, guys, If, as much as possible, I would want you guys to do your photos indoors. Lahat nasa loob ng bahay. Okay, so, para walang labas-labas and it's a lot safer indoors. Uh-oh. Okay, so I am, try to install I am, um, register or log in or sign in, create an account and start posting photos so that you'll be familiar on how it works. We will be teaching you or I'll be teaching you some elements or tags that we will be using, instead of using hashtags, we call it tags lang, kasi it's automatic. When you post something, instead of writing hashtags sa caption, automatic may space or may option to do tags talaga. So, be careful lang. Again, we will be discussing this in detail on Tuesday. Pero for now, try to come up with an account. You can follow me um, at The Gray Matter. I have a lot of uh, pictures or entries here. 
some in different countries um yun nga yun. so i get to sell photos this is where um the sa what tv show ni ano yung tv show ni ano gleaming ho before on netflix ayun king the eternal monarch so dito yung 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 park dito siya sa pinakadulo oo So this was in uh, Singapore. I uh, sorry, 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 Singapore. This was in Korea. Still in Korea. This three. Uh, my wife's photo. This is in Japan. This is moment. Because it, it was shot um, very early in the morning. Walang kat sa sakin sa sakin sa kalsada. Okay, so that's why it's considered a moment shot, right? Because it's a road, but there's no the the road's empty. So yeah, moment shot. Okay. So again, try to install um, your I, uh, an IM app on your phones or iPads. But if you can't, use the I don't know, website so you can post your photos. Yeah, you can photo, you can post your photos using the browser lang. Okay. So we have we have a lot of talented photographers of professional photographers here. We have Sweet Breeze. Yan. Um, this guy usually does um, boudoir or yung mga sensual photos like this one. Pero he does wholesome ones then like this one, di ba? So again, very flexible, very uh, um, very talented si Sweet Breeze. Um, whether he's doing sexy shots or basic um, sceneries, let's do market. Bagal na internet ko guys. So I won't be doing this long. I'll be dismissing you sooner rin. So yan. Very ano siya. Ah, yeah, flexible is the best term eh. Ang galing niya. Whether portrait or landscape. Um, nature. Ang ganun ang mga shots niya pa rin eh. This one is my favorite. Symmetry. Color. Diba? Texture. Perfect, all in one. Okay, so um, try to come up with your account, add me up, play around with it. So we'll try to start using this next week for our activities. By the way, may I ask what uh, what you chose for our exam, guys? Wait lang, let me back read first. Baka hindi ako naririnig ni Jerome. Okay, I can't find it. So may I ask Jerome na lang while we're still online. Jerome, what did you choose for your exams? Subjective, objective, or objective, subjective? Oh, sir. Di pa Kasi guys, if you'll be doing subjective ang midterm, you'll be do you'll be doing photo shoots na. It, it, um, you only need three photos for your midterm exam. Okay? Three photos. One photo is um, product endorsement. You create your own product. So, pwede kang gumawa ng label mo, i-dedicate mo dun sa product mo, tapos pipicture mo ng pang-advertisement, parang ganon. And the other one is modeling. You'll look for, for a model. Yun lang. Yun lang. Then, behind the shot, behind the scenes. Yun lang, para malaman na ikaw yung nagtitip ng photo na yun. That's it. Okay, so if that is, if it's subjective, you'll do that individually. Um, three photos lang, you don't have to memorize anything at all. You just have to be careful in posting on IM the correct tags. The 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 kind that you see here, na receive 191 MX for midterm exam. Let's see kung may MX. Oops, wala. 192, nag midterm exam pa sila, wala rin. MX and you are up. So you can see some examples if you look for a particular hashtag. And like this one. And you are up. I don't I can't find if they have uh-huh. Hola. This is an activity lang. Eh. Yeah, so we have lots of photos here. You can you can derive um, inspiration from. I think this is a behind the scene. Ay, hindi. Pero yeah, you get the idea, diba? So post this or try to come up with your own, ano, your own thing. 
Yan ang ganda nito. Very, you know, very gritty. Anyhow, play around with IM. Add me up if you can. And I'll see you guys next meeting. If you have any questions, guys, now's the time to ask. Yes, Sophia? Sir, pwede sir aso po yung model. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh, pwede aso. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Pero syempre, dapat nakapost, ha? Yung magandang post ng aso. Preferably, syempre, sana tao. Pero dahil pag walang tao, quarantine, you can have someone else or something else. Huwag lang inanimate object. Got it? Kailangan, sir, nakapost po yung aso. Eh, syempre, modeling nga, eh. O, kunyari, patayuin mo. O, o, o kaya, ano? O, kaya, pak, ano mo? Kunyari, nakadikwatro siya. Pahala ka. <laughs> Sige po. Gawin na lang ng paraan. Uh, basta, basta wag lang ano, basta wag lang inanimate objects. Wag laruan, wag libro. Modeling kasi eh. Product endorsement, talagang object lang yung kukunan nyo. But this is only if you choose a subjective exam ha, for midterm. Okay? May business na po. Pwede po yun, ganun. Walang, walang problema yun. If it's an actual business that you own, oo, sige, upload mo. Pero bago naman, wag naman yung na-post na- mo na. Okay? Okay lang ba yun? Apo. Okay, so that's a, that goes the same for everyone. Pag may mga negosyo na kayo dyan that you can, ano, make use of the brand, pwede pa rin naman. Pero I hope that you'll be doing a new one, new entry. Hindi yung nasa gallery mo na siya. Okay, yun lang naman. So thank you for that question, Sophia. If, if there are more questions, guys, now's the last time or now's the chance. If not, then just leave it on the, com, um, the thread that this uh, conference will be leaving. Otherwise, um, see you guys next meeting and good luck. Try to download IM, ah, so let's let's pr- play around on IM so you can be familiar before we start the shooting. Yes, Jerome. Sir. Yes. Ano po yun, sir? Yung ano sir? Sa midterm po gawin kung subjective or objective. Oh, yun yung choices natin, de ba? Kung yari objective subjective. Oh, sorry. Pag subjective, objective, subjective yung midterm exam natin, finals natin, objective. Pag baliktad naman, online exam tayo ng midterm, and then subjective naman tayo sa finals. Parang ganun. So, mag-decide tayo, mag-decide kayo over the weekend para by next week, alam na natin kung anong gagawin nyo talaga for your exam. Your performance tasks will be the same naman eh. Magbabago lang yun sa exam. Do you have to study? Do you have to prepare? Or okay na okay nang mag-shoot na lang kayo? So parang ganun. Para ma-mindset na kagad ng classmates natin. Okay? Or ako rin. Okay? Again guys, thank you for attending today's meeting. Sorry, my internet connection um, medyo nag-deplete kanina. Um, I'll try to have a better one, hopefully. Sana lahat tayo Lisa Soberano, di ba? Anyways, if there are no more questions guys, yan. See you on Tuesday next week. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. sir. Thank you, po. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, po. Napakalungkot nun. <laughs> Lahat malulungkot mo, estudyante. Sige, bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, po. Bye, bye, Arlette. Thank you, sir. Excited si Arlette buong araw. Bye, sir. Sige. Mung kumakain lang siya buong araw. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sige, ingat. Bye. Thank you, sir.